Hi, I'm Tim Brown for Via Technologies, uh, here for JKK Mobile, uh, talking about some of the stuff that we're showing off at exciting uh, Computex 2009, and we're starting fittingly, as JK mentioned here, at the, uh, the Samsung QNX back in the UMPC heritage. That's where a lot of people first started to know Via inside of their uh, ultra-mobile devices. And the Samsung QNEX has been out on the market for a little while, it's been well-reviewed around the internet, people have taken a fairly good look at that. Uh, it's again the ni nice to see Samsung continue their adoption of the Via Nano processor for uh, their UMPC lineup, starting by, back with the C7M, back in the Q1B. Uh, we've also got a series of our, some of our Tier 1 OEM uh, products that are using the Via Nano processor. People will be familiar again with the Samsung NC20 that was been announced a little bit earlier this year. Uh, we've also got on display here a new one that hasn't been seen too much, but just announced last week by Lenovo, which is the Lenovo S12. It comes in a lot of configurations, and one of them includes the Via Nano processor here. It's got a great keyboard. It's really probably the perfect size. We've noticed that most of our Tier 1 customers, or when they're choosing Nano, are always looking for that 12.1, uh, 11.6, 13.3, the bigger than some of the traditionally 10.2 size devices. And that's great, because that's exactly where Via sees the market for the Nano processors, in its thin and late category. Um, we've got also the uh, Freestyle 11.6 inch device that we showed a little bit earlier uh, this year on some video. And we've got a series of other products here which are basically some of the net tops that you see here that are starting to become popular. We've got a couple of on those on display, some thin clients. We've seen a lot of adoption to be a nano processor finally getting into the market which has been a key thing for me this year. Uh, if we look around the room and we kind of continue on with our walk a little bit across the way here, we've got some products from our Global, Mo Global Mobility Bazaar, it's hard to say that one, uh, project and it includes a lot of devices made by some of our partners in China that VIA works very closely with to help them get up to speed and get lots of great uh, uh, netbook products out as well. You can see these products that we've got a, a whole slew of them here for you to check out and Actually, these products are quite good. They've come along very quickly uh, into the market. These people That was the idea, was Vio is going to get in there and help these people do that. And they've got great keyboards, good screens. Uh, some of them are running the nano processor already. Some of them are still using our C7M chipset, our uh, processor and chipset actually, which is still very popular there as well. Uh, helps them keep the pricing in line with the, what their market needs are as well. Uh, as well as all of these great products, what we've got on display is kind of a, an exciting one for VIA is our new VX855 chipset. And this product that you're seeing here is the actual surfboard that the customers can take and make their own uh, mini notebooks from as well. Now the cool thing what we've got here is actually, oh sorry, I think the, the, the demo stopped playing, but what it is is a uh, 1080p high definition video that's playing, it uses between 20 and 30 percent CPU utilization on our C7M processor, a 1.6 gigahertz version of that. So the chipset's really doing all the hardware uh, work for the to play the video and that's important of course to keep the power down. Via is very famous for our low power strategy and we're going to be continuing to drive in the, that direction this year with get things down by another 50 percent in terms of our chipset and processor in uh, dropping our, our, our power. So that's very important but still have the great video and great performance that people are expecting with new, uh, new products. To kind of finish things up here, we're looking at uh, Wonder Media. Now, Wonder Media is a, a, a fully owned subsidiary of VIA, actually, and they do an ARM system on a chip-based solution. So that's kind of interesting. A lot, of, a lot of people are aware that VIA has some ARM-based business going as well. Uh, the Prism platform, which was just announced yesterday, is a very exciting platform. It's at the heart of actually all of these different devices here. If you see, we've got smart books here. We've got UMPCs. We've got a smart media display. We've got a uh, smart picture frames. All of these products are networked to the internet, streaming content from the internet, configurable through the internet through remote PCs, configurable directly by connecting to a PC. Uh, Wonder Media has done a great job. They also have their own uh, RDK for the software, so the performance that you're seeing here that takes advantage of via IP in the chipset combined with the ARM processor is able to use their software and pull and play great video performance and a lot of other uh, multimedia content as well. So that's probably just about it for the most of the stuff that we've got here at VIA. If there's uh, other things you need to know about VIA, feel free to log on to our website, www.via.com.tw. Yeah, well, you know, where to go, jkkmobile.com from Computex 2009. Thank you.